hi there. I have uh, previously made a YouTube video on how to de define chapter points in DVD styler. In that video I used just uh, a single video, a single title, and I showed how you could define your chapter point merely by either writing the values, the time value for the chapter points, or you could use the three dots over here to enter the visual uh, chapter editor and define your chapter points like this. Okay. In that project I used two menus, one situated here in the title set area and one over here in the view manager area. I showed that the difference is that if you want to start a chapter from the video manager area with the, like this, you need to use as an option for the DVD to create jump pads. If you don't, the option of jumping to a chapter would be grayed out. The events on the video could be like, say, a dance competition, and each event could be one dance or whatever. So, well, so much for recap. And here I'll start by deleting this menu. And I'll delete this button. I won't be needing that. Now the question is, if I use this button to jump to event 2, that is my chapter 2 on the video, what is going to happen when that chapter has finished playing, that is when I reach the time of the video, 8 minutes here. I could choose just to return to my menu, so I play event 2 on its own. Um, like this, you have the commands, the cell commands for the chapter here, and I could call my last menu, okay that. However, typically you also want a button on your menu to play the video, on the whole video, that is all the chapters in it. And in order to do that, and in order to do that, you need to make a conditional cell command for the chapter. And to do so, I make a test here using two registers, register six and seven and five. And if they are equal, I'll call my last menu. And when they are not equal, I'll just continue playing the next next chapter. I'll copy this and use the same same uh, command here, here. and here. To initialize my registers, I'll use a pre-command for my menu, and I'll start by letting them have the same value, say 5, like this. So every time I enter the menu, they will have the value 5, and if I click on one of the event buttons, the chapter buttons, the chapter will be played, and after playing the, the chapter selected, it will return to the menu. And then, in order to play the whole video, I need to use a custom action and, in it, and set one of the registers to a different value, say, I could use 4. And that's it. 
and I should be ready to test my DVD before burning it. And I'll start by creating an ISO image. And the generation was successful, so I can close this one. And over here I have the ISO image I created. I have this associated with the VLC player, so I can merely double click it in order to test it. Uh, and let's see if it's work. If I use this button to start uh, chapter 2, event 2, you'll see will display the chapter markers as little ticks here. Unmute the sound off. Uh, and if I uh, jump here to the end of the chapter 2, it returns to the menu as it's supposed to do. If on the other hand I use the play all button and I make a jump around here again, it should uh, hopefully continue playing instead of returning to the menu. And it does. So that's how you do this. Yeah, bye from now. <laughs>